Vandevelde moving in with Belmar at two on one. Belmar the shot and the save by Reimer. Belmar then charged right at the goalie. Reimer is up and right in the middle of this. Mason skating all the way out to his own line, watching closely because Reimer was involved. And everybody else down in there, Ryan White trying to get into the pile as best he can. But no, or I should say uh, Parento preventing him from doing that. Radko Gudis is right in there. We have an old-fashioned pile-up. That's Steve Mason trolling the back blue line. He moved back to his net. He's keeping an eye on James Weimer, That's and the right. only guy in that pile-up that I saw throw punches was number 34 for the Leafs, their goaltender, James Weimer. Belmar having words with Weimer now because those were the original. That's seeing a lot of gestures as to who's going to the box. It appears as though Belmar is going to get a penalty here. So I thought he held up. Here's Belmar coming in the outside. He goes to the net. He must have saw it loose with Reimer. He stopped and hardly uh, hit Reimer, but there then look at Reimer. There you go. With the blocker hand, too, of all things. Which uh, will we'll, we'll leave a mark. Well, fair. It's like having a small sheet of plywood on your hand. See how Belmar held up. Reimer's yep. well out of the paint. Well, I guess if you're looking for an excuse to stick together as a team, Toronto sees that, and I wouldn't have a problem with it if the Flyers had done it the other way. If somebody had squeezed Steve Mason like that, good teams do this, and good teams stick together and stick up for their goalies. Well, Reimer is sticking up for himself. 